In today's video, we have a first look at the PlayStation 5 controller. So make sure you're ready to watch this one because, well, let's get right into it. Here we go, back at it yet again with another video. G'day guys, I'm Sham Chong, and yes, I still have this moustache on my face, but it is to raise money for charity, so make sure to check out the Movember link in the description down below. But anyway, if you didn't jump and join today's video, make sure you smack that like button real, real good. But anyway, let's get to the big news of the day, and it is that the PlayStation 5's controller has sort of been leaked. So the PS5 controller has been shown off in some patent images. You can see... Basically right here, some side-by-side -side differences between the PlayStation 5 controller, which is the new one, and then the old PS4 DualShock 4 controller. Just a heads up, the DualShock 4, the old one is on the right, the new one is on the left. It says that at the top, but just, just to clarify, just in case you didn't know that. The crazy thing here is that these images were published on the Japanese Patent Office's website yesterday. Yes, this has just happened yesterday. Some things to note down about this brand new controller that we do find in the patent is that it features larger triggers, so that's a really, really good thing. Then you've got smaller sticks this time around, and then the USB port is actually USB-C, so it's going to be using USB-C for charging, which is amazing. Another thing to note down is that, well, this new controller will not have a light bar so you know that light bar that you've got that changes colors depending on what player you are and then what situation you're in or whatever the hell you else use that light bar for well that's no longer going to be on the playstation 5 so according to these patent images yeah they're, they're just getting rid of that which is interesting because that does kind of play a part in some vr games so i don't know how they're going to go ahead with the playstation vr and not having a light bar on the controller maybe they don't need that anymore maybe the tech is going to be even better next gen we don't really know just yet but what we do know is it has no light bar Another thing that we already actually knew is that the controller will have haptic feedback. This was revealed a few weeks ago, actually, maybe actually over a month ago now. And then there's just a few smaller different designs here and there. You can see it throughout the controller. Personally, I think it looks more like an Xbox controller, especially if you look at it from the back. It is still kind of a PS design, like a DualShock design, but it does look slightly more game patty overall than DualShock, if you get what I sort of mean by that terminology. Now, you're probably wondering, champ, these are just drawings. This is just a patent. Uh, what does this actually look like? Well, here it is. Uh, this is a VGC mock-up right here. This is Video Game Chronicle. So you can see it on screen right here. It pretty much still looks quite a lot like a PlayStation controller. It, it is its design after all. They're not going to go and stray away from that too much. But it is awesome to see that it is slightly chunkier, slightly thicker. And I I, I like that design. That's, that, if you take that out of context, that sounds awful. But I like that design. I seriously do. I, I like looking at this controller. I feel like it's going to fit in my hands better. And speaking of that, this controller here is the best controller I've ever used in my life. Besides like a mouse and keyboard, obviously. But like as a gamepad, this right here, this is the brand new... Let me grab the box, actually. This is the Elite Series 2 from Xbox. This is the brand new Elite controller. This thing is the best controller ever made. Like, like no joke. I'm going to put that box over there. Um, if you guys want to see me do like a video review or something on this, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm not going to talk about this too much right now. I'm just kind of comparing it to what we've got here. So this thing, I'm pretty sure, also has haptic feedback like in there. The rumble is quite different. So like you can, it, it's just awesome. And then like there's like little designs. Ah, you can't really, really see, but it's got like the, the, the extra pads on the back and everything. But I'm hoping that we get something similar shaped like to hold in your hands as an Xbox controller personally because look, PlayStation controllers are honestly too small for someone who has hands the size of mine. Like um, I'm going to try get something that's universal. Okay, this is my phone. This is an iPhone XR, XR, whatever you want to call it. And then a bam, it's like it's it's quite small in my hands. So using a DualShock controller over the last like 10 years since I've like grown up uh has not been a good experience for me personally i've always preferred xbox controllers um ever since like the original xbox essentially but this looks like this new controller from playstation with the dualshock 5 it looks like they're going to slightly change the design of it so it fits in a hand better rather than those really short odd like handles uh, are they handles i, I don't know but 
I, I do like the design of this. Let me know what you guys think of the new DualShock 5 controller right there. But anyway, uh, we are moving on to the next news report on today's show. And my moustache is like getting in my lips. So I apologize if I misspeak every now and then. Because this thing is filthy and it's just... Yeah. Anyway, let's get on to the next news report on today's show. And it's that we're finally, finally, finally getting... A brand new Half-Life game. It's not Half-Life 3 though, which is kind of disappointing. Seriously. Come on, Valve. Why can't we just get Half-Life 3? Like, just give us part 3. Let us live and enjoy that. But it is Half-Life Alex. So, it just got revealed and announced and... Well, well, technically got announced. I'm getting ahead of myself. The reveal is coming this week. That's all we know right now. But it's going to be a brand new virtual reality game in the Half-Life series. And it looks like it could be something cool. So hopefully they give us a Half-Life experience in the virtual reality world and we get to see what happens there. But if you are wondering, we are getting it later this week. It is going to be on Friday for us Australians, but Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific. Anyone wondering when it is going to be coming out? So it's going to be probably Friday lunchtime for us Australians, something around that time. Or no, Friday night? I... Man, the time zones are really confusing and I apologize if I screw them up. 10 a.m., oh, man. It's going to be like 1 or 2 a.m. for me in Perth. So 5 a.m. for Sydney on Friday, I think. Yeah, I think that's how it works. I don't know. I'm just excited for this game. It, uh, it's going to be Half-Life in VR. Like, how can you not get excited about a game like that? Like, yeah, and it's Valve. They should do something good. They haven't done anything with, like, this game, this series in so long. So hopefully they don't disappoint us, which they probably will disappoint a lot of people because people will get their hyped, will get their hopes up and get hyped, but we never know. Anyway, what we do know is that we have one final news report on today's show, and it is actually some sad, sad news. So there was a game in development, and it looks like it might no longer be in development. So if you don't know already, Firewatch, yes, oh man, one of my favorite games. Well, the developers of that game, Firewatch, we're making a game called In the Valley of the Gods. And well, it looks like there's a chance that this game might not be happening anymore. So, yeah, this this is kind of sad news right here. Because, well, we don't know if it isn't happening anymore. But from what we're seeing, it looks like it may be put aside for the time being. So, if we take a look at this tweet right here from Tyler McVicker on Twitter. Obviously, it's a tweet. He, he pointed out that... We do have these developers and you look at their bios and they no longer say that they're developing Valley of Gods. So they used to say it in their bios in March 2019 and like times back then. But now if you look at their bios, it just says they're working at like the development studio and they're not doing that game anymore. So I'm not sure exactly what's happening with that game. But I'm kind of disappointed to read something like this. It's sort of just ruined my mood right now because... Yeah, like, Firewatch is one of my favorite games of all time. It was one of those games that really surprised me. I had no idea it was coming out, and then it came out, and I was like, this is just such a good experience to sit back, relax, and play this game, and it was just something special. It was one of those games that really threw me off. I never saw it coming, and I, I think it did it to a lot of gamers out there. It was just a surprise. So, this is a surprise too, but it's a sad one. So, hopefully we get to see... Some good news come out of this. We're not sure exactly what's happening right now. I am definitely going to follow up and find out exactly what's happening. I might actually hit these people up on Twitter be like, yo, what the hell is going on? Why aren't you guys in your bios like saying that you're developing this game anymore? So we'll find out if this game is cancelled or not. We'll find out. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. But anyway, guys, that does it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you smack the like button and also make sure you subscribe if you are a brand new viewer and you haven't subscribed already. And make sure your notification bell is on so you get my videos when they do come out. Anyway, that does it for today's video. I just caught this off the corner of my eye and I might actually go play some games with that controller because I'm thinking about the controller in my hands and I just want to go play some games. I'll go see you guys in tomorrow's video though. See you later. Okay, so this is really, really random right here. This is me getting to 10 minutes in the video because YouTube doesn't like videos that are less than 10 minutes, but it's me hitting half court shot. Bang! First attempt, and I apologize for the awful quality of the microphone. I seriously do. This is just me on the laptop getting to 10 minutes. Uh, Jordan couldn't believe that I made the shot. Uh, if you don't know Jordan Kilgannon, world's best dunker, but...
clearly he can't make half-court shots like I can. And guess what? Same clip. Bam. Same accuracy. I made a three-pointer. And he missed again.